Hello and welcome back to another Hunger Games Simulator video. Now, this is a little bit of a, a special video because I have what every good video needs, and that is a British co-host. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> we're now going to pretend like this isn't the second time that we're recording this. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely haven't made this joke already. <laughs> so I'm being joined by... We're so deflated. <laughs> right. We spent about six, seven minutes recording an intro and we were like, okay, we're happy with this. And then it just stopped and we can't find the file. So he lured me here with what every British person likes, uh, TN Club bits, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to make up new jokes here. <laughs> and the reason why I lured him here is because I know nothing about wrestling. The theme, the theme of this Hunger Games is WWE. You didn't even establish this is not I'm kicking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot what I've established and what I haven't. So the theme of this is WWE Wrestling. And I know nothing about wrestling, like literally nothing. So I got Star Master over here. No, that's not my... <laughs> That's not my use of it. <laughs> it's Flutak. I'm Flutak. I've been a I've been a long lasting viewer of the channel. I'm actually responsible for for videos as if uh, as um uh, as like Minecraft Hunger Games, King K Roller Hunger Games, the absolute classic. Also in in collaboration of this, uh, I am working on my own video that happens to feature uh, the the person you actually know about and care about, uh, and, and we're cooking something up good. Where he's a very integral part of the video. And I, I hope you will watch or not because I'm British. I understand. <laughs> I will leave his link in the description below. Go check his channel out. I guess now we're going to the contestants. So in District One, there's Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, here to uh, continue his his dominant reign over the the, the wrestling industry and uh, see if he can hopefully win the Hunger Games here as he has won literally everything else there is to win in wrestling and it's getting really annoying if I'm perfectly honest. Also just like one, there is The Rock. I actually know this guy. I don't know who this guy is. I don't. No, you I don't? I don't know who this guy is. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's, he's Holy Maui. Holy shit. And then in District 2, there is John Cena. Uh, a man who we cannot see. We cannot see. We did the very funny joke of him being invisible. We're innovators of comedy here. We, we, we are really funny. are. We're, we're, we're funny. We're some funny guys. Uh, speaking of funny, who's our next, who's <laughs> our next contestant? Yeah, we got Drax, because, you know, we got, we got to do double the invisible joke from Superhero Hunger Games number two. Yeah, so go and check that one out. Meant to be Batista, but you know. Yeah, it's supposed to be Dave Again, Batista. Again, comedic genius over here tried to talk me out of doing normal Batista. <laughs> In District 3, there is Cody Rhodes. Uh, Cody Rhodes here to finish his story. The one thing he's been destined uh, to do. Uh, the whole motivation in, in, in his wrestling career is that his father never won the, the uh, world championship. And that's why he wants to chase it in wrestling. But you know what his father also never did? Won the Hunger Games. And also District 3, there is CM Punk. Uh, CM Punk. Leaving WWE for almost 10 years and then shocking the entire world as he left AEW and came back at Survivor Series in his hometown of Chicago, Illinois to a roaring crowd. And now he's back. He's a bit injured at the time of recording this, but you know, hopefully all goes all goes well. And uh, he's not here to make friends. He's here to make money and uh, also win the Hunger Games. I wonder if winning the Hunger Games brings you money. You also, you have no idea what I just said or what any of it meant, did you? No. It went all in one ear and out the other. <laughs> I didn't even go in the first one, actually. And then in District 4, there is Rhea Ripley. I want this woman to step on my face. <laughs> That wasn't said in the first video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making my opinions clear. <laughs> then also District 4, there is Bianca Belair. I really wanted um, uh, Vince McMahon in this. Don't worry, guys. He'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll be here in the sequel. He's not going to be in the sequel, he's, no! He's going to be here in the sequel, guys. He'll Don't be worry. in jail by that time. But he'll also be in the Hunger Games. In District 5, we got we got almost... Sapiens. Here to uh to make the Homo sapiens proud, to make sure to stop any form of homophobia as you can see. And then in District 5, there is Veer Mahan. He is coming. He is he is coming. He's, he's coming. Then in District 6, there is Logan Paul, who is returning from the YouTubers Hunger Games. He's here to do what he does best, scam children and film corpses. <laughs> and also advertise Prime when he's when he when he has to. I would imagine this Hunt Games is 
is going to be similar to what wrestling is in the real world, and we'll just have a massive prime sponsorship in the middle of it. Yeah, and secretly KSI is the prime model. Also, to six, six, there is Pat McAfee. I actually don't know much about this guy outside the wrestling sphere, so could you please give a brief explanation? Yeah, so he is a football player. The real football, by the way, not, 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 not the British football. And he is a punter. He was a punter for the Colts. He was like a really cool punter, though, where like he would like catch his own onside kicks, or he'd like tackle players during like kick returns, even though he's the punter. So yeah, he was really cool. And then now he has a, a football talk show where he has Aaron Rodgers on every week to talk about the hat man. Then in District 7, there is Kofi Kingston. Representing the uh, the New Day, former uh, world champion. Let's not talk about how it ended in six seconds by the hands of a name redacted. Brock Lesnar. No! <laughs> I like how Brock Lesnar though, like, uh... What, you like how he's part of a sex scandal? <laughs> and also in District 7, there is, um... Come on, we, we did it, you failed on the first recording. It's Shinsuke Nakamura. Good job, you did it. Hey. A lot of people may be asking why is this guy in, in, in this Hunger Games, and I'm going to say uh, he may not be currently the top uh, of the game. He may not be a world champion, but he's my favorite wrestler, and I'm the one that casted this. And in District 8, there is the Boogeyman. He loves eating worms. Yeah. And then also in District 8, there is Doink the Clown. So there's a second Doink that may appear. Who knows? He may get his little sidekick in. Uh, Dink? I no. think we need Dink for the sequel. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You love laughing at little people. <laughs> they're funny, I can't help it. What do you mean they're funny? <laughs> and this are nine. We... This is no longer the <laughs> This is no longer the wrestling hunt games. This is the cancellation this is the cancellation video that you have. <laughs> In District 9 there is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Then also in District 9 there is The Undertaker. Another no-brainer. Had the long has the longest streak in wrestling history. First ballot Hall of Famer. Well, I just love that Brock Lesnar like has two of the most no! controversial. <laughs> but he he beat the Undertaker though in a controversial battle, and he also beat Kofi Kingston in a controversial battle. Yeah, and he's a piss fetish. He does. Yeah. I, I like him more and more every day. So in District Ten, there is Akira Tozawa. No. <laughs> oh yeah, Akira Tozawa. Thank you. He's getting nasty, as you can see. He's getting very nasty, nasty indeed. He's getting so nasty. Very. He's getting so so nasty. So nasty. I sound so white. <laughs> Are you not? Let me check. <laughs> Also in District 10, there is my favorite contestant, the Gobbly Gooker. Then also in District 11, there is Asuka. No! Oh yeah, wait, no. <laughs> then also in District 11, there is Razor. In District 12, there is Hornswoggle. He's in because Xander loves laughing at little people. He dresses up as a leprechaun and makes grunting noises. That's amazing. Then also in District 12, we have the final contestant, Scott Steiner. He's here to to bring his uh, educational worth, his, his incredible mathematical I, abilities I to the competition. But that's all the contestants. Now, there are a few notable names that are are removed. The likes of Seth Rollins, Kurt uh, Angle. If there's enough demand for it, we could have a sequel. Yeah, so guys, comment down below if you want a sequel. And also comment below who you want to see win this one. Who's your pick? My pick is definitely the Garbly Gooker. My pick is uh, Shinsuke Nakamura for Bias. But I think logically, if I'm thinking logically, Cody Rhodes. And also like and subscribe. Also subscribe to my channel, you know? Yeah. Anyways, let's proceed to see who will win the Hunger Games Simulator WWE Edition. As the tribute stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Omos and Cody Rhodes work together to drown Ver Mahan. No! He oh. came and he went. <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamaru and Kofi No! Naka Nakamura! Not Nakamaru. Nakamura. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. That, yeah, no. Good job. Was that it? I think so, yeah. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura, Kofi Kingston, Hornswoggle, and Scott Steiner stir everything they've gathered before running. Stone Cold Steve Austin runs to the cornucopia and hides. The Rock runs away from the cornucopia. Do you think any of the contestants are going to oh. use him for an actual battle? Uh, maybe like the Goblin Gooka. The Undertaker grabs a sword. Roman Reigns and Asuka, no, Asuke. No! I, I got no, it right no, the second no. time. Roman Reigns and Asuka fight Pac McCaffrey. Oh my god. He's not even Japanese, you have no excuse. <laughs> I don't. Roman Reigns and Asuka fight Pat McAfee and the Boogeyman. Pat McAfee and the Boogeyman survive. Let's go, actually. CM Punk's lifts weights. 
Doink the clown grabs the jar of fishing bait while Drax gets fishing gear. Maybe Doink's like the only person that can see Drax. Logan Paul runs away from the cornucopia. Razor runs away from the cornucopia. Akira Tozawa lifts weights. Oh, wait, yes, he's, look, wait, he's literally doing it. That's crazy. He's getting nasty. He's getting nasty right now. Rhea Ripley runs away from the cornucopia. Bianca Belair takes a handful of throwing knives. The Gobbly Gooka runs away from the cornucopia. John Cena runs away from the cornucopia. But we can't see him, guys. We, we can't. can't. <laughs> Remember, he's invisible. Cody Rhodes collects fruit from a tree. Razor defeats John Cena in a fight, but spares his life. Drax sprains his ankle while running away from the Undertaker. I guess the Undertaker can also see him. I can see that. That makes sense that the Undertaker, that, like, the Undertaker could see him. He's mystical. Kofi Kingston searches for firewood. Bianca Belair receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Pat McAfee constructs a shack. This is where you make a really funny football reference. Yeah, uh, he's just like uh, he's constructing uh, uh, the the darkness retreat that Aaron Rodgers went to to see the hat man. Doink the clown receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. That could be Dink. Hornswoggle explores the arena. I better make a bad joke. I'm gonna say it's gonna take him a long time. <laughs> the Goblin Gooker hunts for the tributes, and Logan Paul dies from hunger. Notice how he didn't die of thirst, though. Scott Steiner poisons CM Punk's drink. He drinks it and dies. Wow, oh, Scott Steiner playing the playing the mind games here. Shinsuke Nakamura, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the Boogeyman hunt for the tributes. Omos receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, his fellow Homo sapiens. Rhea Ripley sprains her ankle while running away from the rock. Do, do you ever, like, look at a woman and think, Can she breastfeed me? Akira Tozawa thinks about home. Do you think he's still getting nasty? He, uh, he has to be. Five candidates just been heard in the distance. Veer Mahan, Roman Reigns, Asuka, Logan Paul, and CM Punk. Scott Steiner finds an old belt. The Boogeyman and John Cena sleep in shifts. Bianca Belair set up camp for the night. Kofi Kingston receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Pat McAfee receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Wait, wait, which sponsor? Come on, make a, make a reference. Uh, uh... His, um, uh, uh, Matt Ryan. The Rock, Akira, Tozawa, and Rhea Ripley discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Almost falls into a pit. No! Dies. No, almost! That must have been like a very short fool. He's a very tall man. Shinsuke Nakamura questions his sanity. Cody Rhodes and the Gobbly Gooker hold hands. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Those are our two picks. Oh my god, it is! Should we hold hands? Yes. You have to come here, but I ain't, I ain't going to London. Is that the only place in the UK you know about? <laughs> yeah. American geography is finished. Wait, actually, the UK is that small. How small is London? Is London like a 7-Eleven? <laughs> Jesus fucking <Christ. laughs> Razor and Drax both fall out of the ring. So they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> they died. Hornswoggle tries to sing himself to sleep. The Undertaker receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. The Boogeyman stalks Kofi Kingston. That fits. That makes sense. Scott Steiner runs away from Bianca Belair. Scared of women. Cody Rhodes receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. The Gobbly Gooker receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. John Cena is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Shinsuke Nakamura constructs a shack. No, The Rock and Hornswoggle track down and kill Pat McAfee. Oh, uh, do you want to make your final reference to the, to the Pat McAfee show now? This reminds me of uh, when the Colts got beaten by the Vikings. No, this reminds me of when the XFL, which The Rock owns, completely demolished the NFL in ratings. <laughs> what, what, what world is that? <laughs> Hell. Doing the Clown travels to higher ground. The Undertaker picks flowers. But what's like an evil flower that he would be picking right now? Minecraft with a flower. <laughs> Four counter shots we heard of this since Omos, Rezar, Drax, and Pat McAfee. Kofi Kingston, the Boogeyman, the Undertaker sleep in shifts. The Rock screams for help. The Goblin Gooker defeats John Cena in a fight, but spares his life. John Cena is doing awful here. He's been beaten by Razar and the Gobbledygooker. Hornswoggle, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Dunk the Clown, and Scott Steiner sleep in shifts. Shinsuke Nakamura convinces Rhea Ripley to stumble with him. Are you jealous? Of which one? Cody Rhodes passes out from exhaustion. Akira Tozawa questions his sanity. Do you think he's just not been nasty enough? Dunk the Clown, Rhea Ripley, and Hornswoggle get into a fight. Rhea Ripley triumphantly kills them both. Is that surprising? The Rock injures himself. Oh, do you think he got a paper cut? Paper beats rock. You're so funny. Kofi Kingston searches for firewood. Shinsuke Nakamura chases John Cena. 
and the gobbly gooker severely slices Akira Tozawa with a sword. No! Three cannon shots we heard in the distance, Donka Clown, Hornswoggle, and Akira Tozawa. Shinsuke Nakamura, Kofi Kingston, and the Goblin Gooper discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. John Cena thinks about home. He's thinking about his home with a uh, red figglehorn. The Undertaker sees a fire but stays hidden. Scott Steiner, Cody Rhodes, and Rhea Ripley sleep in shifts. Bianca Belair dies from thirst. She should have had some prime. She really should have. Did she not read the ring? If for this next like little uh, little round, can you just have a prime logo at the at the top? Yeah, I should. Yeah, like right over here. I'll add a nice prime logo. The Goblin Gooker smashes John Cena through a table and runs away. By the way, I'm like not sure if John Cena is dead or not. I forgot if he died from that or <laughs> if he survived. <laughs> Either way, he's lost to the Gobbledy Gooker twice now. Shinsuke Nakamura and the Undertaker hunt for the tributes. Scott Steiner thinks about home. Cody Rhodes fishes. The Rock strangles Rhea Ripley after engaging in a fist fight. Two cash as we heard in the distance, Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley. There goes all the women. <laughs> yeah, they're all gone. <laughs> oh yeah, John Cena's alive then. Oh yeah, he is alive. The boogeyman loses sight of where he is. John Cena receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Shinsuke Nakamura, Scott Steiner, and Cody Rhodes discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Stone Cold Steve Austin loses sight of where he is. Look at this, though, The Rock dies from thirst. You know what he should have drunk? Some prime hydration. Hell yeah. The to over reports of food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's family. Stone Cold Steve Austin decides not to go to the feast. Shinsuke Nakamura decides not to go to the feast. John Cena and the Goblin Gooker fight Cody Rhodes and the Undertaker. Cody Rhodes and The Undertaker survive! Let's go! <laughs> Your guy be my guy! Actually, and with all the, the, the disputes that John Cena and the Goblin Gooker have been through, they work together in the end, and they both died together. That's emotional. Really That's is. emotional. Scott Steiner decides not to go to the feast. Kofi Kingston ambushes the boogeyman and kills him. It's worth mentioning, because uh, I don't think we're going to get the event at this stage. It was called Hell in a Cage. I didn't set it up. It was called Hell in a Cage. <laughs> And it was just a bunch of vague references that I think Xander thought was correct. <laughs> were they they not were correct? not. <laughs> no, you called the hell in a cage. Scott Steiner is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Shinsuke hits the Undertaker over the head with a chair and gives him CTE. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Cody Rose falls into a pit and dies. Six. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. I did not know about that. I can't just ask me earning this since The Rock, John Cena, with his. So he died like that. <laughs> Once he died, like he turned visible, and then you see that he just had a boner the whole time. And then Goblin Gooker, the Boogeyman, and Cody Rhodes. The Undertaker thinks about winning. Kofi Kingston goes to sleep. Shinsuke Nakamura cries himself to sleep. Scott Steiner severely slices Stone Cold Steve Austin with a sword. Oh, Shinsuke oh, Nakamura silently snaps Kofi Kingston's neck. Scott Steiner scares the Undertaker off. How? Look at look at these. He's two. a very big man. He's on his big popper pump. So two cash shots we heard in the distance: Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kofi Kingston. The Undertaker searches for a water source, and Scott Steiner stalks Shinsuke Nakamura. Scott Steiner passes out from exhaustion, and Shinsuke Nakamura receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. While the you Undertaker, know that, could be? that could be Prime. Oh, that could be Prime. And the Undertaker dies from hypothermia. Holy shit! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> you have a 50-50 shot of Shinsuke Nakamura winning this. Whoa. Is Kurt Angle in the mix? That, that's the main thing. Oh, Shinsuke yes. Nakamura overpowers Scott Steiner, killing him. So the winner is Shinsuke Nakamura from District Seven. <laughs> I rigged this. <laughs> That's actually nuts. He's gonna be in winner's edition. Let's see all these placements. Shinsuke Nakamura got two kills. It was Scott Steiner and who else did he kill? Kofi Kingston. But the Goblin Gooker got his one kill. Alright, anyways, and that guys. that was it? Yeah, that was it. How much did you learn today about wrestling? Um, I'd say a good amount, a good amount. I, I love learning all the, uh, the controversial past of every wrestler. Wrestle? What's up with the woman not, uh, being controversial? Uh, because they're cool. I don't know. Are, are we the worst species? W men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite species, men. <laughs> yeah, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see more, comment it below, and also go and check out Flutax channel in the description. Oh, thank you. You remembered my name.